It's here. It's here. Look how pretty. I haven't even opened it yet, but I want to open it with you guys. Okay, if you're jumping on for the first time ever watching me, my name is Kayla Smith. Let me know in the comments if it's your first time watching me. If you're just on the replay in general, hashtag replay, of course. So I normally don't wait. If you're watching me for the first time, I normally don't wait to go and to do my makeup, but I've already done my foundation and brows because it's all about this palette today. So this is a brand new exclusive palette, only available for this month, and it's gorgeous. This has to do with, you can, I mean, it's backwards, but anniversary edition. This is Unique's five-year anniversary. So they have this gorgeous palette that I just got. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Bailey. It just released this month, and I just got it today in the mail. Hi, Lola. I'm waiting for some people to pop on. So, you guys ready? I'll open it. Open it now. Hi, Danielle. I took it out of the, the big box, but I haven't, I haven't actually taken it out of here yet. Hi, Lyric. And I can't wait. Oh, my goodness. Really, Kayla? There we go. <laughs> I can't even open it. Hi, Nicole. So, yes, of course, say hi when you pop on. So, this whole palette, like the outside, is all, supposed to be all glittery, too, which it is. I, I don't even know if you can, like, it's not, like, crazy glitter, but, like, the texture's a little bit different and, like, shiny, and, like, this is all purple which is gorgeous. Oh my God, you guys ready? Hi Candice. Hi Loretta. I know so many of you guys have these already or watch other presenters who have it or anything like that, but oh, awesome Taylor, that's too funny. Okay, let's get this. So this still looks a lot like our other palettes. It still has that magnetic aspect. So we have five other palettes too, but here's our gorgeous. So these are four gorgeous, um, deep glittery um, colors. If you don't know too much about this palette, these four colors have a black matte base um, but have colored glitter in it. And then these three are like basically like our normal palette shadow type things. Hi Tamara. I was so excited too. So I know so many of you guys again have this palette already, but now I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you a bunch of different ways um, to use them because I'm going to do at least five different looks, if not more. We're going to end like the end of the day, you know, end of this video with like a normal, more simple look, I guess. <laughs> Hi Alicia. Okay. So I think I at least want to use this purple and blue today um i want to do different ways of doing it on my eye hi bridget okay where is my cream shadows so i know that i definitely want to use the purple with the majestic i want to show it like that what other colors should we use so basically hi denise hi carmen i know so i'm this is just a plain around more than a full tutorial i already did my face and my brows um i had it in contour and all that kind of stuff but um, at the end, I am going to end with like my, my finished look, which I'm probably going to keep it simple and go with some of these lighter shades um, and then do my lip as well. But right now we're just going to do probably two different eye color, like two different looks, take it off and maybe two, two more looks and keep going from there. We're just going to play around because, <laughs> because I've missed out on like the last two weeks of everybody else playing with their palettes. Okay. So I definitely want to do the purple with this, but what other color should I do the purple with? Um, I was thinking either like dainty or noble these other I mean I'm thinking more dainty or I could do a matte color hey Adriana it's a little bit more amber it's 55 for this palette or this is available in this month's kudos so if you get in this month's kudos you get the palette you get cream shadow we have um 13 shimmers and 12 matte cream shadows to choose from you can choose any of those you get the palette um you get a cream shadow brush to apply it and a lipstick any of our 20 shades of lipsticks. Hi Samantha, hi Rosario. So any of our 20 shades. And you get that, um, and it's 85, which is a $30 savings, which is seriously awesome. Um, any recommendations um, on, on our other color? I know, Marcy, I cannot wait. So again, if you haven't seen this palette yet, these four shades are four matte black shadows with a glitter color. So it's gold glitter in the black, purple glitter in the black. So it really is going to stand out. I'm going to show you the best way to have it stand out. I have not done this yet, so it's going to be trial and error at the same time. <laughs> Thank you, Erica. I wasn't sure how. Yeah, with Dainty, that's what I want to do. I wasn't sure how I feel about my hair today, but I didn't, I didn't straighten or anything. This is just my natural curl. You see, this side always curls under naturally, and this one curls up. Like, like all my hair just wants to wave this way. I don't understand it. Oh, thank you, Shada. I can't wait, too. Um... But when you put it on top of a cream shadow, it kind of makes the color pop them a little bit more, the glitter part. Or you can get it wet with rose water, which I might try, getting like the brush wet with rose water and getting that on. Um, so there's many different different ways to, and if you use a lighter or darker color, it can be lighter or darker. Um, the tech, the, okay, so like there's a lot of people that are doing these different ways too, and I'm going to show every different way in different times, but... 
And that's what I've heard, Francis, too, that you can use a um, liquid lipstick in maybe a similar color, like a purple or a blue or a gold. We don't have gold. I don't know what other color. <laughs> a light nude color. And one of the liquid lipsticks, put it on, because I've used our liquid lipsticks on, our, on my eyes before, too. Um, if you put it on top of that, it's, like, really colorful. Curl in the bottom layer. Just a little bit. You don't have to worry about curl. I don't worry about curling the bottom too much. I just slightly do. Hi, Mika. Hi, Susie. Hi, Deanna. Thank you for sharing, Katrina. Yes, definitely hit the share button. Let all your friends see this. Okay, so I know a lot of people that are putting the cream shadow all over the eye and then putting the, um, the colors completely over. So if you want a very deep, smoky eye, and I might do that with one of the looks today, might do it a different day in general. I've kind of showed that technique with palette five before, but like the cream shadow everywhere and then the, the, the palette color everywhere on top of that, and it gets a really deep, smoky look. That's what this palette came out this time of the year for like perfect. Like holidays and like the winter time, everybody goes deep with colors, deep glitters and all that kind of stuff. So that's why this palette came out this time of the year. Um, it's not like a bright crazy glittery but what I want to do is use it with the cream shadows put the cream shadow all over and just put the deep in my outer V because that's take that's the technique I normally do with my eyeshadow looks anyways just a darker and just the outer V so that's that's the kind of technique and the thing I want to show <laughs> yes Marcy at least at least when we're awake like he doesn't I don't well actually I have no idea what he does when we're sleeping but um it's we we put it right in like so our couch is a sectional, so we have it right in the middle part of the sectional, like on the rug. Um, and so he just likes to be close to us. So everything's available at kaylasbeautytalk.com and click shop and then kudos and you can get this in the bundle or shop and then eyes. And this is the exclusive anniversary palette if um, you want it just individually. Okay, sorry, where'd my tissue go? My nose is killing me today. I know, me too, Ivy. Hi, Tanya. Okay, now that I've jammered away for like an hour. Okay, let's actually use this. I cleaned all my eye brushes yesterday. I'm so happy. I've been wanting to clean my eye brushes for days. <laughs> Hi, Donya, yeah, Jennifer. Okay, so I got a cream shadow brush. Oh, wait, you know, wait, wait. We haven't gotten product on there yet. Because I don't feel like going light or dark to light. We're going to work light to dark. So we are going to start with this color <laughs> on this eye. And then we're going to put this color on this eye. <laughs> that's, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> so we're going to start with Dainty. And I'm putting this all over... I keep for, forgetting what I'm doing in my life. I always like to put a lighter color under my brow first. I need to see what this looks like on my finger. Okay, so this is super pretty. A lightly shimmered light color. I'm definitely going to use this under my brow. Okay, we're definitely going to use that. Where's my blending brush? Hi, Erin. Hi, Debbie. Thank you, Dessa. Okay, so we're going to start. So I always start. Ooh, this is. Okay, do you see like how. It's like super. So just lightly tap this one. You don't need too much because there's a lot of. Whatever. Oh, my goodness. Mirror moved on me. Hi Savannah. I know Cindy. Okay, so this is real, real pigmented. So you don't need to necessarily wipe it. At least this color. You don't necessarily have to wipe. Just, just tap some product on. Oh my god. So that is like super, super pretty. Okay, if I didn't do my highlight here already, that's probably what I would do for my highlight. We're going to do that tomorrow. Oh my god. So it just, it reminds me a lot. So I'm wearing Benevolent Highlighter. It looks a lot like that. It is so pretty. Do you see like versus nothing? Oh god, so this is really pretty. <laughs> oh my god, Christina, I'm so excited. And so many people are like, you gotta practice, because like, things take time to get used to sometimes, and everybody's like, you gotta practice before you go live. Heck no, I'm practicing with you guys. <laughs> hi Megan, hi Betty, hi Erin. Way more fun that way. So this color is called Beanie, and this is the light shade. So this palette does not have to be dark and intimidating, okay? That's so what I want to tell you guys. is We're probably going to end with... Just using just these two or all three of these colors today. We're gonna do a nice simple look at the end of the video uh, because I do have to go like grocery shopping and stuff today. Seriously, this is so pretty. Like you do a palette just for this and it's freaking awesome. And if you get in the kudos, you're basically getting this palette for only $25 if you get in the kudos because the, you get the cringe shadow, the brush to apply it, um, and a lipstick. So you're, it's a $30 savings. This is 55, you save 35. This is only you're only getting this for $20, $25. Seriously. And every product on my website um, has a love of guarantee. So you have up to 14 days to return it and up to um, 90 days to exchange if you're not happy with anything. Hi, Jessica. Okay, now we got that. We got some dainty cream shadow. This light, shimmery, gorgeous purple. And we're going to put this everywhere. Okay, that was like a lot. You don't need that much. Let's wipe some of this off. I have way too much product on here. Okay. 
So you pretty much can't go wrong from what I've seen with what cream shadow you get. But I think if you go lighter, your overall look will look a little bit lighter. And if you go deeper, it'll look a little reach richer. Okay, I feel like I'm missing a bunch of comments too. So if you guys comment and I miss your comments, don't hate. But definitely say hi when you pop it on. I need to put setting powder in my eyes. I'm going to do that in one second. So, so this is obviously gorgeous alone. I'm just going to get a little bit more for this outside. Awesome, Savannah. Hi, Courtney. Oh, thank you, Sarah. Yeah, I'm definitely not scared. I'm excited. But I have seen a lot of people, not everybody. I think it maybe depends on your makeup level skills or or if you've actually watched anybody. Like, I've been watching a lot of how to apply this. Hi, Caitlin. There's a lot of people that, you know, just takes trial and error with a lot of things. But then after using it a couple times, they're like, oh, God, I got it. I got it now. Yeah, Krista, I so saw I'm doing two different looks. Okay, so I'm going to apply, because these cream shadows aren't going to aren't gonna have any foliage, but um, I might with this new palette, especially because I haven't used it yet. So I'm going to put some setting powder, or Behold setting powder, and I'm going to take this. I'm just going to take this brush because I really like the shape of it in front of my eyes. Um, but I'm just going to put a lot under here, so that way if I get any foliage, I can just wipe it off after. Hi... Is it Coney Jean? Is that how you say it? Yeah, Jasmine, it's so pretty. Hi, Renee. Thank you, Teresa. I'm excited, too. Brooke, you can get everything at kaylasbeautytalk.com. Um, there's a shop now button at the top of this page, too. But if you have any questions after this, definitely message me. Um, I know it's just going to be hard for me to try to go through all these comments at the end of the video, so just message me if you have any questions for sure, and I'll get right back to you as soon as I can after this video. Um, but just kaylasbeautytalk.com, and then shop, and then under eyes or under kudos, depending on if you want the deal or just the palette. But it definitely works best with a cream shadow, but I can show you um, in general that it's going to look good. It's just going to look deeper when you don't use it with a cream shadow, if that makes sense. Hey, Angela. Oh, awesome, Angela. Oh, too funny, Allison. Hi, Melissa. Oh my god, I totally forgot to put eye primer on. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna take it off eventually. <laughs> uh. BB cream's 39. Setting powder's 39. Sorry, I'm just getting back through the comments. So this has a mesh filter, if you didn't know, so I'm kind of digging in. It's kind of so you don't make too much of a, of a mess. Like, it doesn't get everywhere. But so I'm just kind of working my way through that mesh filter <laughs> to get product on the brush. Okay, so then if I get foliage, I can just wipe it off after. I know I'm going to look crazy for a little bit, but... Okay, so next time before I put blue on, remind me to use eye primer. Although the cream shadows really do work good without eye primer. Eye primer really is going to help with um, creasing later on in the day and oil production so your eyelids don't get really oily. Um, but technically when I put my face on, I did have some glorious primer on there, but I just, that was, you know, a couple hours ago now. <laughs> so the setting powder, um, well, in general, you're going to use a little bit when you put it all over your face, when it set your face. Um, how was I going to put that underneath? Oh my God. Um, so this is majestic, by the way. Um, so we're doing two different eye looks. If you're looking at me like I'm crazy, this is to show two different ways to do this but um by putting it under my eyes when I use the glitter palette if I have any foliage I can just take a powder brush and I wipe this off and all that this loose powder because this is not going to stay that light all that will wipe off with any color that was down there if that makes sense no I'm not a makeup artist Courtney so if anybody's been watching for the first time I am not a makeup artist just a unique presenter who loves playing with makeup So if you see, I take the edge of the brush and create like a line over there and then work my way in. And obviously our cream shadows are amazingly gorgeous alone. And these are shimmer colors. I like the shimmer more than the matte. I like the matte too. And I'm going to show a matte version, I think with the blue.
wipe off my brush just slightly so I can wipe off or what is this called blend up oh, there we go a little bit yes Leslie we're gonna do we're gonna do more than this right after too I, I have shine cloths here to take the eye looks off after because I want to show the blue at least too if not more we'll kind of see how long it's it's taken Tiffany, I hope I just answered your question. I am, Danielle, that's the plan. And uh, Whimsical. There's like too many looks I want to do. Like there was four, these four that I'm about to do, that I knew I wanted to do right off the bat. I knew that I could not wait any longer. And I might as well do it on video. I'm not, you know, I don't like to wait. See, the thing is, I know a lot of people are swatching on their hand, which I like, but I really like swatching on the actual eyes. <laughs> so I can show you how to actually apply it. <laughs> So maybe we could do some swatching at the end if we want to do any swatching, but I'm just trying to bring it up a little bit. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what brush I want to use. Um, let me think. I might just stick with this cream shadow brush. I think I'm just going to stick with this cream shadow brush. Well, let's just wipe it off, especially because you get this in your presenters or in the in the kudos. So you're fine, Tiffany. <laughs> you're fine. I was like, I'm pretty sure that comment would came through like right as I was saying it or something. Yes, Tammy, I did. Okay, let's put the caps on these. Make sure to close the caps real tight on your cream shadows. Now let's go into the purple. What is it called again? I'm gonna suck at memorizing name colors. Okay. Courageous. Courageous. So this again, these are four glitters that are in a black matte base. So it's very deep color. So you're supposed to get a lot of product on the brush so like going backwards motion get a lot of product work it into the brush tap off any excess and it's just deep colors and it just like attaches to this color um sort of and it'll show the glitter the purple glitter will pop through if that makes sense i don't even know how to describe it oh my goodness apparently i should have gone lower whatever we'll wipe it off eventually it'll be fine Yep, we're gonna have to wipe that off later. Goodness, Kayla. So I think the purple is also one of the deepest shades as well. Awesome, Debbie. Hi, Cassandra. Yeah, Ashley. <laughs> it's just the anniversary palette, though. This is, They definitely released it this time of the year, um, like, on purpose. I'm just kind of tapping motion to blend it in between and also tapping to blend it up. I don't know, it's gonna be so hard to see the the glitter just like shine through. I feel like I can see it more in my camera. Um, but again, it's it's a colored glitter on top of a black eyeshadow. But you could definitely see it in the mirror. I don't know if you can see. Just like, I feel like if I was like directly in sunlight too, you'd really see. I need to figure out a way to get this off my cheek right now, though. Let's see. Is this gonna is this gonna ruin it? Probably. What can I What can I use? Yeah, you can do that, Heather. But for me, that doesn't seem. You can do that, but for me, it just doesn't seem um like it makes sense. This is also why I normally do my face after, but I didn't want to have to do my face on video today because that takes way too long. Well, it doesn't take that long, but since the eye looks, we're going to take forever. Yeah, like I feel like the actual, the actual sunlight too. Okay, whatever. Let me fix that more later. Okay, let's do the other side. Blending bud dry. Oh, for my for my cheek. I don't think I have a dry blending bud. I think we're really gonna like this eye too. I love day D.
kind of wipe this off a little bit. Hard to wet the shadow brush. You can do that. And also, I was talking about how you can um, use it alone and just use the rose water. And then it like turns into like a metallic color. And then when it dries, you can see that glitter. But I definitely see it in my, in my lighting. I don't know if you can see. I definitely see the glitter popping through. It's hard to know if you guys can see it good in the mirror. But two very different different looks with the same color from the palette. Thank you, Coney Jane, me too. These are cream shadows that I used. Dilute it with rose water? No. No, you just... um. Put it on, you know, get your wet, your brush wet. I did not today, though. That's not what this, what this is. So which one, which one do you guys like more? I like, I feel like this almost made this look almost more silvery. No. Which is cool. Um, do you want shimmery or not, Micah? This this would definitely go with any of them. Elegant would definitely go with any of them. Um, I've heard Happy looks really pretty underneath all of them, um, which we can try at some point. Um, Victorious is a matte nude. Cream shadow. Um, you guys are like 50-50. Some people like the more purpley. Some people like dainty. So, yeah, two very different looks. Oh, my God. I can definitely – I hope you guys can definitely see – that glitter. Especially on that side. I feel like I see it more on the light side. Like I see it a lot. It looks more purpley. Deep glitter here. It looks really hard to see. Like I see it way more in my in my actual camera. But then this one looks like looks like silvery altogether. So I'm excited to try blue because blue looks the most um this immense color. I've seen it be the most popping. This looks the most deep. Um, this purple, actually, probably both of these look really deep, and these look a little bit more lighter. Yeah, yeah, mine's just blue. Happy and Rapturous? Which, which, which Rapturous? What is Rapturous? Oh, that's the, that's the purple matte, right? Oh, that's this one. It's Rapturous. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that hurt my nail. You guys are like 50-50. I'm glad I did both. Okay, so we're going to take this off, and we're going to do the blues. We're going to do the blues. You guys, you guys got... Got all this down. You see it? Wait, let's do this. So you can really see. I mean, I have no no mascara on. It's crazy how much silverier dainty looks. Like, I feel like it's... I feel like it looks more purpley in here. And it like, looks more silver after adding the dark color. Interesting. Exactly, exactly, Micah. Oh, stop. <laughs> Too funny. Okay, what am I doing with my shine cloths? Shine cloths. Thank you, Brianne. I'm just going to kind of rip it in half right now. So I shouldn't need a whole one to get these eye looks off, and hopefully I can at least decently try to take it off this way. I'm not sure. I'm definitely going to remember to put primer on for this way, but... I put it on top of the cream shadow, and the cream shadows don't necessarily need primer. I would say primer for the cream shadows is not necessarily for them to be true to color. It is more for them to not, um, you know, your eyelids not to get oily and not to crease throughout the day, all that kind of stuff. Although the, the cream shadows don't crease easily, but primer just extra helps to prevent that. You like the right eye? Wait, this, this eye? The eye I just took off? Or you're right. I'm not sure which way is your right or my right. <laughs> oh, I know which way is my right. <laughs> this was dainty with um, the same purple from the new palette. 
I, can, I don't remember what the color's called. I can look at it in one second. And the other eye was majestic with the same purple. So two different cream shadows and, um, and one look, basically. Awesome, Kev. Bear with me one second. <laughs> yeah, I fixed most of it. I'll probably fix it at the very end because who knows if I get more down there later. Oh, thank you, Lisa. Uh, eye primer. So, I'm going to start with this. Eye primer, no. Just need a tiny bit for both my eyes. So now we're gonna use the blue one. Really excited for this. I saw some gorgeous blue looks. I'm gonna try just to apply a little bit more setting powder just right under my eyes since I wiped some of that off with the shine gloss. Yes, uh, because I have my foundation on and I don't want the glitter to get on that, so I just wipe it off after. Although I decided to get it all the way down on my cheek, but whatever. Um, so we are using. Well, we're gonna start. Actually, we're gonna start with the same, the same beaming color under my under my brow which is seriously uh, so so pretty just get that gorgeous shimmery highlight oh my god how is there crack hair all over this goodness um baking I don't know like people call it that because people used to use baking powder that's why it's called that, but it's just exactly what this is. With the setting powder is what I use, though not but not baking powder. <laughs> okay, so now we are going to use both Granny's Whimsical on one eye. It's gorgeous shimmery blue, and then we're going to use a Mused a Matte Turquoise Blue Green color on the other eye. And then we're going to use this immense with both of them I might try to use a different brush now after that I'm maybe the sponge brush we'll see okay so I definitely I'm gonna get a different cream shadow brush because I don't feel like cleaning that one we're gonna get amused and put this all over my eyelid just get some good product on the brush Hi, Amy. I've been using your finger. I feel like I could not do that. Unless I was doing like the middle of my eye, I feel like trying to, I feel like I, would, I was gonna swear, <laughs> mess up. <laughs> trying to do that with my nail. My nail can't even like go in here without like poking myself. Hi, Jody. Yeah, definitely, Allison. This color is really pretty just in general. Oh, awesome, Shelby. I'm glad. Like that. 
Oh, yeah, it's Mickey. I'm so glad I got it, too. Especially, like, before it sold out. It's not sold out. That's not what I mean. But, like, sometimes I don't get products till after they sell out. So this is an exclusive for November, which I will still be using it randomly past November. So if you don't get it, you're going to be like, as I'm using it in a couple months, you're going to be like, oh, why didn't I get it? I'm going to be so sad. Okay, so now we're going to use Whimsical and do this on the other eye, the same same technique, just all over clock's killing you. Yeah, when you have to pop on too. Hi, Krista. If you haven't shared yet, definitely share. Yes, Kaylee, I did. Angela. Yeah, I care, I do. My short hair. Thank you for sharing, Christina. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Erica. Hi, Cindy. Oh, thank you. I'm glad. <laughs> These are the four colors I was most excited for. And after we're done, I'll see... Uh, with these four, I mean, I want to do one, like, you know, where both my eyes are the same, you know, before I, before I leave, because I do have some grocery shopping and stuff to do, but, I was totally going to say something I forgot, but I'll see what time it is and see if we want to do two more, two more colors before that or something, or what we want to do. We'll see what happens then. <laughs> Tammy, we're doing a lot, a lot with the new palette. Playing around. This is a playing around episode of Caleb's Beauty Talk. <laughs> um, Nikki, actually, the rose water really helps bring it back to life. Mine was about a year and a half before, um, before it started drying out at all, and technically it has a year shelf life, so technically I should just get new ones, but, um, whatever. It's not that bad. I don't use it that often, but I'm um, just adding a couple squirts of rose water brings it real back, right back to life. And then I just kind of mash it together with this end of the brush to um, swirl it back together, bring it back to life. This is called um, a or no whimsical, whimsical. Amuse is the other one. Sorry. Yes, Jenny, and we just did two other purples, and now we're doing two blues. I want to show many different looks with this palette. Sorry, since we're keeping the front color, just this color, I want to make sure it's especially all blended good in this front. Hey, Krista. Okay, I think we are good. If you are blue, have, I mean, I would never wear either of these colors just like this. Not going to lie. Neither of them I would ever wear just like this. <laughs> um, I'm either going to do it with a technique I would do it like this or use Whimsical in the outer V, something else lighter in the, you know, lighter in the middle or something like that. But, um, but if you have not tried blue in general and you have blue eyes, I really, not everybody agrees with me, but I think it looks really good. Blue on blue. <laughs> I feel like I got caught here. Goodness. Yes, blend well, Sharon, for sure. These cream shadows are different than any creams you've ever tried or ever, will ever try. They try, they dry to a soft powder finish. So they don't, um, they don't crease or or go anywhere. They are really easy to blend out, especially after you dry it. You can use like a crease brush or something after they dry a couple minutes, and it blends out real easily too. Um, I was gonna use a sponge end. I want to test. So I want to test the sponge end of our um, sponge angle brush. Um, just like this, I feel like it's, like, I like blue, but I would do it with something else. So I'd probably do a lighter color in here if I was doing this on the outside or a darker color like I'm about to do, but just one solid color I never do like this. And if I do, it's like a really light color, like, like elegant. I would do that. I would do this technique too. Dainty. I would do this technique too, but this is just too, I don't know how to explain it. 
But do you wear it like this high up? Maybe it looks better on you. Maybe my eyes are just, I don't like it. Maybe that's just a personal preference. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna use immense, immense, whatever, this, this color. So again, these are four glitters on top of a, so they're colored glitters. I got the wrong color. Oh my goodness. Um, on top of black matte shadows. Okay, let's wipe that off. I do not want that color. We want immense. Come on, Kayla. Get your act together. Yes, yes, Chrissy. I do. Yeah, I usually do a full story all every day on here. I have no idea if this is um, how I want to apply this this color, but I really want to see how this brush works for it. Just blend it up even more. Just doing light tapping motions. Oh my goodness, I can definitely, I haven't blended yet, but I can definitely see, see the blue. It's really pretty. What brush? Let's use a liner shader brush to blend. Just want to blend this up lightly, light motions for blending up. Thank you, Jody. Which side did I use? Oh my goodness. I think that's it. Yeah, exactly. I love, I love this combo. This is the combo that I saw before, actually with both these colors. And it's really pretty. I haven't blended up completely, so no judgments there. But can you can you see the blue glitter on the dark part? I hope it I hope it's showing as much on camera because I see it's definitely a very much deeper, but you can see the little glue. Blue. Oh my goodness, I didn't show you. Can you see on my finger? This is just, just swatched. Can you see the way that, that it's like not wanting to focus? That little blue glitter specks in it. I feel like I need to go in like the sun's light sunlight, except it's really cloudy out today. That's pretty, that's probably what sucks. I shouldn't have picked it. Well, I didn't pick a cloudy day, but it's really cloudy out, which stinks. Okay, wait, where's my brush again? Awesome, Jody. Hi, Joan. Oh, I can see it. I can see it. Hopefully, you guys can see it. You can, you just have to go above your crease. You just have to go higher. Hi, Vicky. Hi, Jamie. Thank you, Linda. Okay, let's do the same thing. What was other brushes people were using? Should I try a liner shader brush? Should I see if I, it's the other side? I kinda wanna try it. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try this liner shader brush. And again, you're gonna go like and get a lot of product done when you do this. But then tap off the excess that's just gonna you know, come off. Hi Emily. Thank you, Vicky. Okay, so let's do this side. And like little light pressing motions. I'm trying to do like different brushes too so I can see different different ways of how I like it. If I like the cream shadow brush, the liner shader brush, what kind of brush I like more. Ooh, I can see the blue glitter flakes. Okay, I really want to try, as I'm bringing it in, to use a little bit of this brush again. I might like this one more. Sharon, I use all unique.
you don't like how dark the colors are you just or wait were you the one that said about the hooded eyes or you just don't like how dark these are because there's also three other lighter colors but have fun go dark once in a while i have been on it lately and i've been liking it especially for like christmas and holiday like you know christmas eve and holiday looks and stuff going deeps good <laughs> this is the blue sorcerers <laughs> I think I am seeing a little bit more blue pop up with um, with this brush. Oh my goodness! Oh my god! I just tapped it in the wrong, the wrong thing. Do some blending with this brush. Oh, stop, Joey. Don't be scared. My left eye. Wait, this is my left eye. But do you mean this color? Because I definitely like this. Yeah, like I said, I got to figure out how long we've been on here when we're done. I think I've seen most of the comments. I don't remember seeing any that went by because there's not too many comments going by. You guys are you guys are liking me at least. But if I miss something, sometimes Facebook hates me and doesn't show everything. Just re comment though. And I am bringing this one in a little bit more just because I didn't like how how dramatic the light to dark was. So I'm on purpose bringing a little bit more in. But I can see right in this middle area where I use a sponge brush instead. I do feel like it was um, a little bit more glittery with the sponge brush than with the liner shader brush. Do you have to apply a cream shadow? Should I, should I do um, the colors alone? They're going to be definitely a lot deeper. Oh, I kind of want to try with the with the black matte shadow too because that's what it's supposed to look the richest best with, if that makes sense. Um... Like the glitters show up the most when you do it on top of the black. But I can show you them alone. I, I hear it's best with rose water when you use it alone. But they're black matte shadows. So the glitter attaches more when you use it on top of a cream shadow. That's why the cream shadow is in with the kudos. Thank you, Janetta. Wait. Janetta. Janetta. Is that how you say it? I like this a lot. In, in my camera, I can see a... Or the my... Can you see, like, especially in my crease area, can you see the blue? Can you see that good, that the glitter that's just like, I hope you guys can see it the way I'm seeing it in my, in my, um, mirror. Like, it's very deep, of course, but I see that blue glitter sparkling through and I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I wanted to, I wanted to bring it in more, especially with this light color. I just feel like I liked the way it blended up more. Okay, what time is it? I'm good. I can do, I can do uh, two more, two more looks after this. But I, I actually like both of these. Oh, you can. Okay, can you really see? I can see really see that blue glitter on that eye. Actually, both of them I can see really well. I hope you guys can too. It really sucks because it's really cloudy out today. But the one you guys keep talking about, I, don't, I still don't see your comments coming through, and I'm seeing all the comments. But I don't see any more questions. Exactly, exactly. This is the time of the year you do smoky eyes. In the spring, you keep it lighter and brighter, but the winter time, you go deep, and it's gorgeous. Thank you, Jody. Okay, so I gotta figure out what, um, what else should I do? Let me let me swatch all these real quick on my fingers. So this is the gold. Oh, you can see that gold. You can definitely see that. You guys can see that gold glitter coming through, right? So that color, what is it called? Enthusiastic. Ooh, you can see that gold just popping through, just nice. Courageous. 
this is the purple I did before. You can just see that a little bit. So courageous, I think, is the darkest. I think, I think I, knew, at least I saw that before. But you can see that blue just, or that purple just, just shine through enough. And then immense is the color I have on right now. It's the blue. So pretty. Yeah, I definitely haven't seen any summer comments come through. What's her question? Wait, this one looks, wait, can you? Oh, that one looks really pretty. That one's called Dazzling. Oh my God, I need to do like a hundred more looks. Oh my God, I need to do something with this and the gold. Look how pretty that is. It's like teal. Oh my God, it's so pretty. About selling? She can message me any questions. I don't know what questions um, she'd have. It's, it's $99 to join if that's like a question. There's no fees after you join. You can do as little or as much as you want. Okay, we definitely need to take shine gloss to that, but. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why that's happening either. Because sometimes they just come through fast. But I like, I mean, I'm seeing, the comments are moving very slowly for me. So I'm not, I don't know why I'm not seeing it. Has she repeated the same exact, like, I know if you copy and paste the same exact message and the same exact wording, Facebook um, kind of marks it as spam. Like you're trying to spam me with the same message over and over again. So like just maybe reword it something different. Yeah, something like that. That's so weird because the comments aren't moving fast. Oh wait, Summer, I see your comment. Now they're coming through. So I see one Summer comment. She's there, she exists. <laughs> yes, it's a black matte shadow with colored glitter. That's exactly what it is. Yep. Um, and I know everybody maybe now has not has watched me since, but as soon as I found that out within like before I did my first live, I was telling you guys, that's exactly what it is. But it's so, it's so pretty. I love it. I love, I love these blues. I actually like them both for very, two very different reasons. And I like that this comes all the way through. Sarah, yes, it's yours. Hi, Alma. <laughs> Wait, don't, don't mess up. Uh, don't uh, like clog up the comments with asking if I can see yours. <laughs> Just, just actually ask the question. <laughs> Thank you for sharing, Jessica. But you guys can all message me um, after this. And if there's any way I don't get a message within 24 hours, because I don't think I've ever taken that long to get back to a message, um, comment on something of mine, and hopefully I see it. Because there was, back in the summertime, which was months ago, like I was recently, like two months ago, getting comments from the summertime, or messages from the summertime. I was like, what the heck's happening? Because so many people were telling me that I wasn't getting comments, or email, oh my god, messages. And I was like, yeah, I guess I wasn't. It's weird. Thank you, Summer. Okay, let's take these off. I don't even know what the heck to do now. I want to do them all. <laughs> but we have, we have the rest of the month to play. Pretty much just going to do 100,000 looks for the rest of the month. But okay, what should we do? Should I do something with it alone? If so, what colors? Probably going to use rose water if I do that. Because you just saw my fingers what it looks like alone. Awesome, Diane. Well, I obviously can't use it alone alone. It's just ugly to use one color, but I don't have to use it with a cream shadow. Maybe like, maybe just with beaming or something from this palette. I know, I want to do the, the black matte cream shadow. I know. I know. I want to use the gold with like elegant or something. Like the the Victoria's cream shadow maybe as a base for both eyes. I could do that. Well, I mean, you just saw it alone on my finger too. So you guys know <laughs> that's what it would look like a lot. <laughs> Green and purple? I don't want to use two of the dark colors together. We don't need to look like we have a black eye, okay? The way to not look like you black eye is just to not just put color all over. Because that, that's going to make you look like a black eye. <laughs> I need another part of the screen. The red is the transition color. They probably look good not with the teal, but with the gold. With the gold, we can do that. Okay. 
I just realized I got most of that eye off. I don't know what I'm doing. I forgot. It's this eye. <laughs> okay, you may do two gold looks or two teal looks or one of each. We'll obviously do more looks throughout the week in general, too. Okay, one each. Still have it all over my fingers. I forgot to actually take the shine cloth to my fingers. Just took it to my eye. Okay, at least you guys all agree on one each. Now I gotta figure out what the heck I'm doing. Okay, so well we'll probably do that. We'll probably do the gold on the lid with this in the creases under the brow. But I don't know about the other eye. What should we do with this? Should we do a nude color with it, like Victorious? Or should we do the matte black with it? Because that's the most recommended. Does not mean you have to do it, but this is the most recommended for them to show the glitter the most, although it shows the deep side of the glitter the most. But it actually apparently makes the glitter pop the most, at least what I've seen. We're doing a lot of play in April. New palette here. New palette. Okay, so we'll do cream shadow or whatever. Eye primer everywhere. Just that much for both my eyes. So when you're talking about matte black or victorious, or you, I guess you could say something else, that goes with the um, um, the dazzling color, which is the teal color that I'm asking about. You guys are killing me. Thank you, April. Hey, Wendy. <laughs> Grizzly, you're too funny. What am I doing? This brush, this brush. Where's my brush? My blending brush. Okay. I'm just gonna start with just this eye. I don't know what the heck I'm doing over here for. I can't do black and victorious on this. I look like a crazy person. <laughs> Thank you, Wendy. Okay, so we're starting with beaming, which I love. I'm gonna use like, use so much just today of this. Then we're going to take I'm going to use the same brush and take Unashamed, gorgeous color. Put it right through my crease. I probably should have let my primer dry more, but say lovey. Thank you for sharing, Jamie. I, I mean, I feel like I feel like I, per I mean, I, I guess I could try both on my hand for you guys to to see. So the harder you press, the more you're blending that color out. Okay, this is like gorgeous. Like you guys need this palette for these two colors. Like I think I'm gonna do a look with this in my outer V and beaming the uh, color on my brow on my lid. I think that's what we're gonna end the look, the look with today. Oh my God, that's like gorgeous. You guys need this. Yeah, okay, let's do it in my hand. Okay. I got wait. I gotta do this. Eye. I gotta finish this eye first because I want the, the primer still wet. So we're gonna take enthusiastic. Oh god, I gotta clean one of these brushes because I want to use. I want to use a cream shadow brush, and I only have two, so I just have to clean it. Okay, it's it's mostly clean, close enough. I know actually, right? Okay, so we're taking this. We're gonna take a lot of product. We're not using this on top of a cream shadow, which is going to mean it's going to look darker. But the primer's still kind of, kind of wet in my eyes, so it'll give it something to adhere to. 
little pressing motions. Oh, I can really see. Oh my god, it does not show in this camera. Okay, it is pretty prettier. Because I can see that gold popping through already. Light motions is what I've seen, is the best. Light, light taps. I'm sorry if I'm missing comments while I'm doing this part. Oh my god. Okay, I need to like I need this to focus so you guys can see this. I feel like you're not gonna be able to see this good. Can you see this good at all? Because it like looks really pretty. It's very deep still, but it, I can really see the glitter pop through my camera. Like I see this is the most that I've seen the glitter actually so far. You just, just got to use the right technique. The lighter the motion is what I've heard, the better. Get lots of product on heavy, but then lightly tap it on your eye. Do you have the eye primer? Because if you're not going to use it with cream shadow, like you need the eye primer for it to tap on. Like, for it to adhere to, if that makes sense. And you also make sure you're not trying to look in like your crappy bathroom light, basically. Because that bathroom light is not going to be good to see. You have to see it in natural lighting. You can see it? Okay, good. I'm going to put a little beaming in my inner corner after, too. Light little motions. And because I had the other color there before, it's going to make this blend up easier. That red color. So I wiped off some of my products so I could finish blending. I can really see the gold. I really hope you guys can, too. Like, it looks really pretty. Like I would bring it below, let's bring it up a little bit, just so you guys can see. Like just bring a little bit of color below. It's just basically using whatever's the rest on the left on the brush. Um take a clean liner shader brush. Um I put honey BB cream and tap it a powder today on. Sarah, they might eventually, but they did this, they did this on purpose. Um, for this time of the year because um, it's the deep colors and Melanie our, our co-founder loves um, deep colors but they have three gorgeous light shades in here so I'm going to take a little bit of this color on my brush beaming to lighten and brighten this look up it's what I like to do for for all my smoky looks just to brighten that inner corner Super, super pretty. Okay, let me swatch on my hand. Oh, victorious. Let's put some eye primer. I think I'm gonna apply. The, I'm gonna apply the cream shadow. It's not the sh other shadow, but the cream shadow is my finger because I'm sick of cleaning my brushes over and over again. <laughs> For orange ones, I don't know if any of our things, any of our palettes have, the palette fine kind of has orange. Okay, so this is Victorious that I put in my hand. And Magnificent, oh goodness, all my nail. Just our matte black. I'm not doing two of the dark glitters together on my eye. Because <laughs> killing me. Okay. I need to clean this brush though. I'm gonna use like 100 pieces of paper towel doing all this swatching. Okay, we're doing good stuff. Moved and lost your eye primer? Goodness. Okay, so I'm probably gonna. Apply, I'm gonna apply it in the, this color first and then this color. And we're gonna decide if we're doing dazzling this gorgeous teal color on one of those. Let's figure out which one we're doing on. So get a good amount of product on your brush. Tap off any excess. 
and then I'll lightly tap it on. That is really pretty. Okay, I might like it a lot on, on Victoria's. <laughs> Let's see how it looks on the black. Oh, sorry, the speakerphone outside. Okay, I think I actually like on Victoria's a lot. <laughs> we might just do that. I might not give you guys a choice. Oh, it does look really pretty on this too. Okay, wait, wait. Oh my god, I don't know now. You guys are killing me. I was only doing small sections, now I want to do, do it more so you guys can really see. Oh my god, it's like two totally different colors. Hopefully you guys can see. You see it's like two totally different colors, but both very pretty. At least you can see it well on my hand, I guess, versus like my eye, I just feel like it, you can see it well from my from my lighting, but when I come in close to the camera, I don't know if you can see it as good. So this is on Victorious, and this is on Magnificent. Which one should I do it on? Hopefully you guys can see. It's like two totally different tones. That's what's awesome. But they work on it works on pretty much whatever cream shadow you want to work on. I think I see more black. Give me one more second to come on for all the comments to come through. Did I put eye primer on this one? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I definitely see more black. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So, Meg, oh wait. Let's use, let's use this under my brow. Let's do this one under my brow today. We'll do a matte. Nope, wrong one. God, Kayla. Victorious. We're gonna do this under my brow, though. Just for a nice matte highlight under my brow. I feel like I didn't clean this brush good. <laughs> I can see a little dark color in it. Whatever. Oh, so Christine, that's your favorite. I'm glad. Glad you like. I don't know. I definitely like the blues a lot. I like the purple too, but I like the blues a lot. And I guess we're going to put this all over my eyelid. It looks a little darker than normal because I apparently decided to. Two sec. <laughs> awesome, Nikki. <laughs> decided to not clean my brush well enough. So is that magnificent? If we have time, I might be able to do a little bit more hand swatching too on my hands. Oh, got a niche. different paper towel. I'm going to need so much paper towel. Suzanne, it's $99 to join, which gets you a giant kit of makeup, and, and then you get your free website. There's no, like, monthly fees to keep your website up or anything, um, or monthly fees for any other reason, which is awesome. I'll be three hours after any sale. Yes, you can order in a collection, too. If you didn't know that, too, there's two collections. I don't remember the names, but there's two collections that we have, um, which have like other products in it too, and it happens to have a palette. And you can actually choose this instead of one of our normal five palettes that we have for this month only. 
So you can choose it that way. You can choose it in the kudos, um, which is with the cream shadow, the brush, the cream shadow brush, and um, what was I gonna say? What other things? And a lipstick, and a, yeah, cream shadow brush, lipstick palette. Yeah, there was four. Becca, what, what about not the blended side? Oh, you used to do I shouldn't like that. No, <laughs> you're funny. Um, I, the luminizers came out in March, correct? Did they come out in March? I think so. Somebody tell me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure that's what it, I don't think they came out a whole year ago. Okay, so I'm not like 100% blending that when I'm putting this blue on, I want 100% blend it. Okay, so I'm just going back to that other cream shadow brush that I just used for this. Get some product on pack it in there, tap off any, you know, loose stuff that comes off. No, Joan. Um, if you want to have an active website, like not have your website go inactive, which doesn't cost anything if it does, um, you have to sell, buy or sell $125 every 90 days, which is not a lot. Like I buy that much in skincare every like couple months, let alone 90 days. Um, so for me, when I joined, I was like, I know, I know I got it because I'm going to spend that anyways. But if it goes inactive, you actually have an additional six months to log in and reactivate. But if not, you're never charged a penny. It's just because it's a free website, they have to do something to make sure you're not taking advantage. <laughs> thank you, Wendy. Oh, thank you, Hope. I mean, I do have foundation on, but thank you. Okay, so light tapping motions. Oh my goodness, this is definitely, you can really see a little bit. This is why I would normally do my foundation actually first, or after, I mean. But this is also why I put that, what's it called? The, um... What the heck did I put down? Setting powder. Setting powder down. Susanna, you don't have to. Um, it's not like in any requirement, but if you want to make this your business, I tell you yes. So that's kind of up to you. Um, but you can take your sweet time on how, you know, what you want to do. And definitely does not have to be a full video and like a full tutorial or anything. But, um, you know, you can't expect somebody to want to try something unless they see you use it, see how you like it, all that kind of stuff. Does that make sense? Thank you, Michelle. I'm making a hot mess out of my face. Use your foundation after. <laughs> That's all I'm going to recommend. Yes, Becca, after you join my team, um, I add you to my team and training groups. So that goes for me my entire downline, like if you join any any of my Team Radiant ladies, um, you get added to my team pages and training groups. You know, you have my support and help along the way. Yeah, I could not think of the word Nikki for a second. <laughs> I was like, what the heck did I just put on? <laughs> kind of wipe off this brush so I can do some blending. I think I'm going to actually take a crease brush to finish the blending. But just a clean crease brush too. I might add a little bit of product, but probably not. Because this is a very dense brush, so it works really well for for blending color up. I'm gonna take a little bit. I don't. I'm not gonna pick up the palette right now. A little bit of that red, unashamed, and put it on here. I hope this doesn't mess it up. Those two blend this up a little bit more. Give that transition from light to dark. Yeah, I like that. I probably could have used the gray too. I probably should have used the gray. Whatever, just to show it off. <laughs> Your mom put them. You're too sweet. Thank you. Carmen, I just see on the brush. Where does the first comment? Can you spray the setting spray for less fallout? Um, probably or rose water. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely seen uh, both of those applied. It doesn't fall out after it's on the eye. Okay, it's just like that extra on the brush because I put so much product on the brush. Okay, gotta come in close. Let me come in close. Can you guys see? Sorry, that buzzer thing keeps coming off. Can you guys see that glitter? 
sorry, the Japanese um, speaker system on bass. Awesome, Nikki. Yeah, I definitely like that better. Oh yeah, my first seven months um, of work in this business, I made it to um, almost green status before um, I quit my job and moved here. So you can definitely make this your business, make money. Green status is is a little bit more than halfway, I guess, up the, in the company, if that makes sense. But I was working full time. Definitely, definitely can make it work. That's what's awesome. It's all done from your phone on your time frame. I just did little pre-recorded videos on my days off. Yeah, so you guys can see see that glitter. It's just, like, I wish if it was sunny outside, so another day, one of these days this week, if it's sunny outside, I'm going to go back to my, on my back porch because um, that's where the sun, like, really shines on, and hopefully you guys can see it, but... So to join, it's just it's just going to kaylasbeautytalk.com and click join. That's it. Um, you just be over 18 and um, a citizen of the United States or any other country we're, we're in, which I think it's like 12 or 13 now. Um, I don't see Jody's comment, but I see Jane, Jamie's comment right now. Um, you have more upline. So if you join under somebody who, who quits, my person I joined under quit, um, you have, you have other upline elites, upline black statuses. Um, if you don't know who those people are, contact support and they'll give you their information. No, Joan, I do not. Hi, Cynthia. Oh, thank you, Terry. Just, just practice. So hopefully, oh, I can definitely see that glitter. Like, I see it, I see it a lot in my, like, in my mirror. Like, I see this eye way more than this eye, but actually this eye almost shows more, I feel like, in the camera. I don't know. But I see this blue a lot in my mirror, which means in person. It's just the camera sometimes doesn't love to show how glittery it is. <laughs> oh, maybe? Wait, okay. I'm going to take this off. Let's see. I'm not going to be able to see, so we're about to flip the camera. I'm going to flip it. Can you guys... I really have absolutely no idea what this looks like because this is the back side of my phone. But can you see... I hope I'm even like on the right part of my eye. Can you see the glitter more? Sorry, I'm on the front side now, but hopefully a different angle. You can see more. Yes, Angie, I did hair for a living before. I don't know, Tiffany. No plans on getting them done again, but I may end up later on. I don't know. Okay, let's take these colors off. Oh my goodness, I feel like a hot mess. Express right now. Might probably take my foundation off my nose. Oh my goodness, Kayla. Oh my goodness. Okay, you can see more of the back side of my camera. Because obviously the front view or the camera versus the back, the back is going to be better quality, if you didn't know that about iPhones at least. This isn't blue. This is tur teal. I use this color, which is like a teal. This one's the blue. I didn't use this. I used this one before. This is the dazzling. This color right here is the, is the one I just used on my eye. So this was the gold, this was the dazzling. So yeah, it's more teal than blue, yeah. This, um, this top is from Amazon, actually. I think my cardigan's from H&M, but I'm assuming you're talking about my strappy. What time is it? Okay, it's only 11, that's good. <laughs> Go straight up in a couple hours. Seriously, these wipes are amazing. gonna take a second to get this black off because I used a black base it'll come off it'll just take a second just a good amount of wipe <laughs> yes yeah, Audra sounds good thank you for sharing Cynthia Thank you for sharing, Joan. Another shine cloth. Okay. This definitely I'm never doing my I know normally if you watch me before, I normally I do not do my foundation before. I just probably gonna take some of this off. Definitely taking it off my nose. And I'll just reapply some foundation on.
I'm going to shop with a friend. No, my husband was sleeping. Just grocery shopping. Nothing crazy. Just grocery shopping. <laughs> nothing crazy today. No, seriously, I can, I can like literally touch my eyeball. They're so nice, so gentle, not drying. Oh yeah, Kathy, I know we're getting it all off my nose. We're gonna do a nice, simple look to end the day, okay. We're just taking this off. I give up, I give up. I made a hot mess of my face. I'll keep my forehead on, my forehead's good. <laughs> Goodness. Seriously, April, it is amazing. Like that was actually, the shine gloss was one of the last things I tried and I don't know why I waited so long. But as soon as I got them, I was like, never use anything else again. Yay, let's see. We did six different um, looks so far, and we're just going to end the day. and Because we, we did one on each eye three different times. We're just going to end the day with a simple look from the palette. Sorry, just a little wet from that shine cloth. Whew. You're welcome, Vicky. I'm just going to put some primer. That didn't take off my forehead because we don't need to. Put some primer on my eyes and my... And my face. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Apparently I still had some black there. Yeah, I get back my hand. I'll get that in a minute. It's not a big deal. It ain't gonna come off. Oh, too cute, Tita, too cute. What am I doing with my life? I just wanna fix my brows slightly. Just the bottom side. So I kept wiping part of them off when I was using the shine gloss. Hey, Garica. Weirdest way to put makeup on today. <laughs> um, eyes, and we're gonna do eyes, and then we're gonna do our face. So we are using just these two. Which I feel like some of the glitter got on it. Unashamed. Yes. Yeah. Yep. So let's start with this liner sh or this blending brush. So this is like the way I've been doing this the whole time, but. Get a little bit of this color on my brow, under my brow. Stop, Jessica. It took me a long time to get comfortable doing videos. I'm almost at my two year anniversary. I think in like two days, my two year anniversary. Well, it took me a while to get used to them, um, used to videos. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit that's unashamed with this brush again. But then I think I'm going to deepen it up a little bit more than this brush. But this will just kind of help transition it in slightly. Does that make sense? With a big fluffy blending brush. On top of hopeful, that makes sense. I believe that hopeful is a light shimmery pink cream shadow. If anybody's wondering what that is. I 
Oh goodness, John. Oh goodness. <laughs> Too funny. Okay. I'm going to use the angle side of my angled sponge brush. We used the sponge side earlier. We're going to use this side to do more unashamed. So I'm going to use it a little bit deeper right in my outer V. So kind of just depending on how light or dark you want it, you can do just more or less. Just depends what brush you use and how much, what type of motion you use, you know, like a harder pressing motion or not. Yeah, it does. This color is gorgeous. These light colors alone are just reasons to get this palette. Seriously. Especially because in the kudos, you're getting the palette for only 25 like. Awesome. I'm doing good, Brooke. She decided to get the palette or? Or no. Yes, Jody, definitely. Oh, awesome, Brooke, I'm glad. Can't wait for you to get it too, Jessica. I'm just like picking up a tiny bit of product every time I pick it up, just so you know too. Just wanna blend it up a little bit more. Okay, I think that's good. Let's do the other side. Hi, Danielle. Yes, this, this color are considered pretty burgundy. Um, there's some of the press shadows that are a little bit more wine burgundy, if, if that's a thing, like a little bit of the purp more purpley undertone of the burgundy. But this color definitely is close. This palette specifically is only, um, we, have, we have five other palettes, but this one specifically is only November. It's our anniversary palette, because Unique turned five years old this year. <laughs> oh, stop. Don't be scared. But this color, I'm, I'm, I'm going to swatch this after. This color looks really pretty, too. I just haven't actually used it on my eye yet. He just kicked on his room and now it's getting warm. Goodness. Like I want a little too high on the side, but whatever. We'll take a different brush and take some of that light color for under my brow. Okay, and a little bit, a little bit more on the inside, right? Right there. Good enough. Ah, Sabrina, hi, heaven. Oh, stop, Jody. Oh, awesome, Iris. I'm glad. Um. A liner shader brush. I was using one for beaming earlier. Okay, I'm taking a liner shader brush. Yes, took off all the black. Yep. Um, what am I doing? Beaming. Beaming all over my eyelid. I'm actually just gonna take like this a little bit more for under my brow, especially on this side. I felt like I went up a little high there. Oh goodness, a little much. Where'd my blending brush go? Now let's do this all over the eyelid. I'm gonna actually use a, a good amount of this product. Oh, that sucks. That sucks, she's pulling her eyes out. And it presses on to get 
more color here. I gotta put too much still, but it's so pretty. I put a lot on. <laughs> this color's so pigmented. Kind of wipe off my brush so I can do some blending. Oh my gosh. Too much. Too much. But it's easy to blend when you put too much. At least of a light color. Such a perfect fall look. Seriously. Beaming and unashamed. Wait, that's what it's called. Yeah. These two colors. Thank you, Vicky. Okay. Well, let's put that away. Um, let's, I really want to do, let's do this. Let's do this liner. We're going to do Patronized, which is a red burgundy type color. Just shake this up a little bit. Oh, get us dirty. Okay, let's do some little wings. That could have should I done should I have done um black? <laughs> Whatever. fun right seriously you're getting this two colors for $25 too and then the other colors you can play with once in a while when you get more comfortable <laughs> I got like black all over my hand. What am I? Where did it come from? Oh my god! I think I got it on my shirt too. <laughs> Making a whole mess. Where's my shine gloss? Oh, stop, Kathy. Have fun with it. it. Took me a while to get comfortable doing like videos and wear it out daily, but just practice and you can do it. I promise. Let's get it off the back of my hand here too. I think I just want to do foundation and then I'll do my eyes. I'm just gonna take a little bit of BB cream. I don't really want too much today. Just like a little bit. Like I normally use much more than that. I just want to keep this quick. Just give me that little bit of hydration. Usually, again, I use more, but oh my god, it's falling everywhere. It might be. Most of our uh, other palettes are water resistant. Yeah, Brittany, we did seven looks. This is our seventh look today. <laughs> we kept taking on and off, on and off, showing all the different colors. Yeah. Well, I wasn't planning on doing my foundation on here because I had it on already, but then I decided to make a hot mess of my face. So apparently I shouldn't have just done my foundation before. So 
some Hermosa bronzer. Give me some color to my face. Is this Hermosa? Yeah, it is. Thought I picked the wrong one. The powder concealer brush, I love it. Blusher brush is what I use most of the days for my bronzer too. Powder my sweater? Oh. Apparently a lot. Whatever. <gasps> I'm at 20% battery. We gotta make this quick. I might not do my lashes on here. <laughs> oh, thank you, Melissa. Comes off real easily. I'll make a hot mess on myself. With my luminizer. Powder. Powder got on my sweater. <laughs> I went a little crazy. Fan brush. Fan brush. Oh, wait. I want to use beaming. I want to use beaming. Scratch that. I want to use this color to highlight with. There's a beaming that I use in my eyes. Oh my god, that's so pretty. Seriously. That is so pretty. They need to come out with an individual list. <laughs> Beat me. Goodness. Oh god, it's so pretty. It's beach theme for my nails. Because I went to Punta Cana last month. So I got them done for my vacation. Normally I wouldn't use an eye brush for the highlight, but it definitely works to get a defined highlight. Oh, it's so pretty. What are we doing with my lips? I'm going to do some lashes with Epic real quick. I'll let you guys tell me something that I'm going to wear out for the day. So nothing too crazy. Yeah, my nails definitely have lasted for sure. Sounds good, Amanda. Epic Mascara, ooh, livid, would be really pretty. Match my shirt good, maybe that is a good idea. Might do livid with gloss. Might, with livid with gloss, livid with liner I meant. Goodness. Swanky would go with this look. I don't know if I'd wear Swanky out, but Swanky would look go with this look. <laughs> Swanky's a good fall color. You don't think you've seen a gloss? I just used a gloss the other day. Bonbon bon liner, I definitely love my bonbon bon liner combo. So we can definitely do that too. Or instead, not too. Yeah, we did um, wings with, what's it called? Prominent? Patronize. Patronize. Dip and draw liner. Oh, for your nails? I'm too lazy for that. <laughs> but that's definitely fun if you like getting your nails done often, but all the time and the patience and the money, all that all that fun stuff that getting your nails done costs. <laughs> Anyone else agree with Livid or no? It looks way prettier on person than in, than in here, by the way. Probably do chocolate truffle bonbon with prudent liner, maybe, if I did a liner and bonbon combo. Prudence of a nude that's like a kind of a corally color-ish. Yes, do lemon. Awesome, Kelly, that's funny. So hard to do 
do my lashes and read the comments at the same time. My phone dies, no, no hate. I love you guys. So let's hope it doesn't. I feel like I'll get noticed that it says 10%, right? After 20%. Oh my god. It's like this area, my lashes do not want to exist. Where's my lash comb? Usually Epic loves me. This is also what happens when I try to read while I'm doing my lashes. This is what happens when I try to go fast. I suck at going fast. But I'm running out of freaking battery on my phone. Okay, whatever. That works. There we go. Whew. Fake breezy. I can go over colors again at the end. As long as we don't die. But I always post my picture with what I did. I told myself I was going to be on the elliptical until you were done and now I'm paying for it. You're too funny. Oh yeah, it's that you ran. <laughs> okay, I should not read the comments while I'm trying to do these lashes. That's the problem is when I'm like reading while I'm blinking, you know? I can't do it. We gotta do lashes only, read later. I just, I get, I get so stressed out when I see the comments like <sighs> flying by. That I want to look, but then when I look, then I mess everything up. Okay, there we go. Now when I'm not reading comments, that was easier. <laughs> okay, let's do livid and liner. I think I'm going to do an ombre. Let's do it. Where's my white pencil? There it is. Oh my god, it's getting too short for this cup. No, Andrea, I did not. Thank you. Right? I think that's a thank you. Okay, I'm gonna actually show you real quickly how gorgeous this is alone. So this is like perfect for fall. Is that not super, super pretty? Should I just wear it alone? No, I wanna, I wanna try it with ombre. I wanna show you guys alone, but I really wanna ombre it today with white and prudent because I love doing this to make my lips look fuller. Okay, so that's prudent, just a nude liner. Oh wait, let's wipe that off. And then some white in the middle. Doing this really makes your lips look really full. Seriously, alone it's pretty, as can be. Slightly on the top, not the bottom, but my top lip's a little bit lighter, so I slightly overline, not where you can really tell, because then it'll look obnoxious. I love this eye look so much, seriously. Give me one second, my nose is killing me on here. I hate when it starts running out of nowhere. I can come home whenever, um, Jessica. There's no like rules, it's just obviously I 
pay to come home, <laughs> obviously. But um, I do not want to go back to New York in the winter time, so I'm good. I'm going home for the holidays. <laughs> So doing the liner like this with, with any lip liner and then any gloss looks so pretty. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous look for fall. I've never done this with this color. I like it. So you can see it really makes my lips look fuller and it just lightens it up a little bit with that white what I like to do is take my finger so I don't get it on my teeth and just make sure that it's not too much on the inside if that makes sense but so my eyes we used part of the colors from glitter this a new glitter palette we did a million looks we did two purple looks we did two blue looks and we did one gold look and one teal look okay and then so we did that at the beginning of the video if you're just tuning in and then we just use these two unashamed and beaming for unashamed in the outer crease beaming on the lid for this and we did beaming as our highlight too and it's so so pretty and then we did prudent and pristine liners on my lips with livid gloss on top thank you Kathy I'm glad you like so um, if you guys have any questions, always message me. This palette is only available this month. Oh my God, look how pretty the purple is. Um, only available this month um, while supplies last, so it might sell out before the end of the month. It doesn't seem like it would sell out quite yet, so I don't think. I think we got some time still, but probably before Thanksgiving it definitely might sell out, though. Oh, so it sucks, Catherine, but it's always, always back for replay. Um, what was I going to say? But you can get the palette alone. You can get it in either of our collections. There's two collections that have a palette. Or if you get in the kudos, it's a $30 savings, which is huge. It's with the, with the, the palette, any cream shadow of your choice, we have thir 13 shimmers and, and 12 matte shades um, to choose from. You get the cream shadow brush to apply it, and then um, a lipstick of your choice. All that for... I didn't order kudos, I just ordered the individual palette, because I already had the other products, if that makes sense. Thank you, Tina. Um, but I'm going to get off. Always message me any questions. Don't miss out on this gorgeous palette. Like, seriously, how... Like, I could do this look every day in the fall. Super, super, super pretty. I love, love the way this makes my lips look so full. Super full. From the new palette care that I just showed. Thank you, Lindsay. Oh, Vicky, that is way too hard of a question. I like light colors like this. I love, like, well to do a good lipstick that I like, um... I like the bonbons a lot. The bonbons with a light lighter liner. The palette's fifty-five, or the kudos is eighty-five, which is a thirty-dollar savings. So the kudos would include three other products for only twenty-five more dollars. Wait, I can't do that math right. Thirty more dollars. Thirty more dollars. <laughs> Thank you, Cindy. Okay, so I think I'm going to get off. Um, so he's back for replay, of course, and I'll post my picture below um, after. But everybody, have a great one. Thanks for chatting with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed all the looks we're going to do, or we did, and we're going to do more looks this week, of course. So I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for tuning in tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed. Everybody have a good one. Bye, guys.